Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. 12 o'clock location, we have Zava 3 starting as the green teal. Teal Terran. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Nesh. Maybe it's this is like a beta art thing because that I just haven't noticed up to this stage. Because look at this command center. It looks really snazzy. Like a little bit of a deeper orange. It's got that cool whatever uh, symbol. You know what they should do? They should make like random like... You should be able to plaster custom... That You should be able to pay for this. Plastering, like, your custom symbol on buildings and stuff. Like, instead of whatever this symbol is, like, that would be a way for StarCraft to make money, right? People would pay, like, a little bit for that. I would pay a little bit for that. If I was playing super competitive turn. I don't know how you'd do that for Zerg or for Protoss. Like, Protoss would be easy, right? Just a little bit of a different art artifact. But for Terran, it's like the most straightforward. There's just so many things you could do that on. It would be great. Anyway, other ways to try to fund StarCraft in the future. I know that this is the side thing. If you want to check out the project, actually, someone on GitHub is trying to completely rebuild the thing open source just in case something explodes and, like, Battle.net goes away. We have Shield Battery in the background, but if there's, like, some sort of IP licensing thing, they literally reverse engineered and build it from scratch. It is nuts. And they've done a fantastic job. I think they're trying to do some updated graphics of their own because the graphics obviously are uh, proprietary. But anyway. Front door seal here for Nesh. Or sorry, for Sva. Nesh leaving the barracks interior to the base. Which leads to believe potentially going for a more aggressive stance because uh, this is more defensive. I'm going to try to seal in my natural expansion sort of location and get that command center and be able to defend it better. I kind of like this play better from Sva, particularly in the current Terran versus Terran meta, which has been the three-factory vulture build for quite some time. I do think that this particular map is not uh, as conducive for... I mean, it's still strong for it, but the choke is a little bit less wide, a little bit less space to run around. Shout out to Lurk out in Twitch land. But we'll see. First Marine is being produced. 3 SCV on gas for Nash. With the 100, he is pulling off. It looks like Sva is getting that scout. Ooh, gonna battle SCV it. Just heads up and try to flee. So did the damage. Going to escape. Drew some blood. Gotta love it. Nesh is gonna make his way up. And see the base equivalently. Sva trying to dance and keep that SCV out. The SCV getting aggressive and going for the attack as well. I'm going to go back out. It does confirm that it wasn't like a quick command center build. Like the... Only single SCV on gas left. No SCV on gas from Nesh. Again. So that will allow him to get that command center out. And actually, Nesh wanting to get aggressive with that follow-up. So he's got two... He built one additional Marine, a bunker being built. Maybe realizing Spa was going to... With that placement, was going to play a little bit more passively. He's going to charge forward. This is going to be close. So let's back this up so we can see the Marines coming in. Yeah, that bunker going to complete in a bit of time. But this Marine is still exposed towards the front. It needs to get... Ah, okay, gets in... Just in time, so Nesh gonna hold up short. You know, it'd be kind of clever as if someone, I don't know how this would work, but if someone came up with an academy rush of some kind, where you skip factory, drop an academy, get marine range, and then just start assaulting this that way. But anyway, Nesh going to be more secure by basically having his attack force out on the front to box his opponent in, but that's also exposing him to this. Vultures can absolutely devastate marine lines, so Nesh losing. I guess he's trying to... Oh, he wanted to try to abuse this high ground, but just wasn't positioned for the high ground properly. So the Vulture takes a lot of damage initially. Nesh still going to grab that command center behind it, but an SCV goes down. That Vulture's got to feel heroic with five kills under his belt. Promote that guy immediately. I think that was a thing. Because, you know, SCVs are all privates. You can see it in the, the screen right there. And But Vulture's Sergeant, he needs to get a promotion to whatever. I should know my military uh, what not to be able to say what's above Sergeant, but needs a field promotion. Marine's also private. Same rank as SCV. Go figure. Which makes sense, considering. 
wonder if Zerg have ranking. Anyway. Two Marines. Vulture now staging forward. Engineering Bay actually also blocking that gap. So you can see... So now we're seeing what looks... Actually, yeah. So throwing in some Goliath as well. Starport add-on. I'm wondering if we're going to see a quick drop of Goliath in the backfield to go up against a presumed Vulture build from Nash. Sva showing some creativity here. Speed is upgrading. So Starport's up. And I almost wanted to see... Okay, so there's the dropship. And yeah, it's going to be drop Goliath into the rear, which might be challenging for Nash to deal with. So interesting play from Sva. And Nesh right now, yeah, was just going for... Yeah, so he's attacking on that third factory. It looks like he's just going for factory play. But with the, all of this clutter in the front, I don't know that Nesh is going to be able to puncture his way through. There is this gap along that right-hand side, but... Let's see if he exchanges the vulture and... Oh, this might be the, the fatal flaw right here. Is, is this, this little edge right there. That's not fully defensible. Two Marines now marching forward. The dropship making its way around that corner. A second dropship. Wow. For Sva. Marine is going to spot it, though. Sees the dropship overhead. Everything careening back towards the front. But is it going to matter? Now it comes down to where does Sva place it? Does he give himself some distance? So no mines as of yet. As long as he doesn't drop it too... Yeah, okay, so gets that out. The Goliaths actually trade extremely well versus Vultures. And actually, yeah, you can do that. So Nesh losing everything here. A lot of mining here at his main. The Goliaths wandering out a little bit too far. They need to stay grouped together instead of attacking supply depots and whatnot. A Goliath was built by Nesh, though, and with the group repair and the SCVs boxing the troops in, might be able to repel this. And I think that might have just been... I don't know, it feels like a bit of spot of luck from Nesh that he had that armory and was doing that transition. However, another dropship is up. More Goliaths being fielded. The barracks going to spot it this time. Siege tank now being produced and siege tech. But Sva able to get a lot of damage done with that. A lot of damage done with that. So Nesh is going to have to play catch up. He does have three factories compared to the two. And this, keep in mind, wasn't building Wraith. Just building dropship, but I gotta say, nice drop from Sva. Creative. Sva, though, going for a command center. Wow. This is brave. Grabbing a third. So Sva's way up in worker counts, but honestly, this feels a little bit overly aggressive and potentially throw material. Oh, Sva. This is a... Oh, I don't like this play. <laughs> Maybe after like a fourth, a third and a fourth factory were added on because he's got that economic edge. Maybe he's hoping that with the dropships, he'd just be able to keep everything back. But honestly, uh, well, we'll see how Nesh plays it. Nesh floating a lot of minerals himself. Is Nesh going to go for naked expansion? Maybe Nesh is going to go for a naked expansion here at his mineral only. But right now he's flooding those vultures out. A single siege tank on defense. Does this get spotted? So one vulture going to get swarmed here. Commands, or the barracks going to be repaired so that it can field right back out for Nesh. Nesh, so sizably up in attack count. He's going to, so he's scouting everywhere. Dropping some mines across the field. And Nesh actually, yeah, going to grab his command center. But double dropship moving forward for Sva. So Sva just going to allow his aggression to be his defense. Leaving that somewhat naked. Absolutely going to be able to crush Nesh making the... Overly aggressive. So both players playing very, very aggressive. Oh, one dropship going down. Second dropship also getting taken out. No. Oh, no. Now Sva is in really bad shape. Oh, that was a lot to lose right there. Okay, now he just needs to get back and heavily defend that third base. He will end up with an economic lead if he can hold on. But right now... If you take out the SCV differential, uh, Nesh ahead in troops and actually pretty decent in composition, Sva does have the high ground. We'll see how this plays out. Nesh continuing to build that command center. Sva still with the economic lead, but he needs to tech. Okay, he does have the additional factories. 
coming online. Additional machine shop. Single siege tank. Oh, sorry. Double siege tank there to that corner. Nesh posturing potentially to get aggressive. A lot of Goliaths in with this attack force. So I think Sva might actually be okay here. Two siege tanks at the natural. So big loss, but he's he's okay. So things resetting. Sva still with the economic lead. Five factories coming online. Compared to the four, sorry, five also from Nesh. Nesh also tacking on a sixth and a starport of his own. Also getting comps at. He's got an armory up, but has not made any cycle towards weapons one. Actually, neither player made a uh, movement towards weapons one, it looks like. Sorry, I take it back. Sva upgraded weapons one. Weapons one on both ends. Wow, this is bad commentating on my part. Excuse me. So both players already have weapons one. Ugh. Goliath pressing in. And Sva taking good control of the middle of the map. Maintaining that SCV lead. And with three base... On both ends, both players saddling up a little bit. Nesh has a pocket of troops not really established. Sva has a decent line. Kind of as a soft protection and starting to float some buildings forward to get a view of kind of what's out on the map. Big worker count lead and supply lead for Sva. After a solid drop. That secondary drop, not too bad. And Nesh now sneaking in expansion. And this, greedy on Nesh's part, I'm not sure who dropped that comps at. Looks like it was Sva. This isn't going to be alive for long, though. Because Sva, wandering right in. Going to be able to take that, disrupt that, take that SCV and else out. That should force a cancellation here. Vultures are going to go diving in, maybe to engage this. Might be able to preserve it, but that should be... We'll see how Sva responds overall, because this is a lot of resources to be held up. Actually, Sva not getting the better end of that engagement at all, so it ends up losing a lot of those vultures. The command center, not a force cancellation, but Sva. Actually, Nesh doing a pretty good job macroing, so just only behind 10 supply here and 6 SCVs. If he can somehow get this up and hold it, he'll be okay. Single vulture patrolling to the bottom right in the meantime. And it looks like a dropship being built from Nesh as well. Double double machine shop here. Sva making movements. It looks like Nesh sees the Goliaths and Siege Tanks coming in. Siege Tanks just sieging up along that left-hand corner. I think Sva might have superior troops here. But unfortunately, they're not really bunched up. They are going to be able to take out all sorts of turrets to the north. So small victories here. And take position over this northern bridge which denies a lot of the territory to the upper left. However, my concern is, is it still doesn't really... It denies an expansion that's really not being contested and won't be contested for quite some time. It doesn't really defend a lot midfield. There's still only two siege tanks here. So I'm a little worried about these troops being way out of position uh, to help with further engagements. Dropship in the meantime starting to move out. That's going to make that middle position somewhat soft. Looks like there is a turret to defend here, but Goliath bombs could happen across that north spot. Now backing out. And taking a, another northern position. Nesh diving in with some vultures, able to get right on top of that siege tank, is going to follow up with the Goliaths to clear out the rest of the attack force. Mine dropped and cleaned up. Some nice defense here from Sva. Goliath's eating a lot of splash damage. So big win right there, and a huge clump of siege tanks here to the south, not really participating in that fight whatsoever. So Sva, now closing the gap in the middle, kind of zoom out as you can kind of see it. I'm a little concerned that he doesn't really need to... So he's doing this more to kind of protect what I assume is going to be his fourth base. He's also, well, I take it back, he's going to grab the base to that upper right-hand corner. But kind of taking early claims over this left-hand section. And maybe if he keeps like a pocket back of vultures or something like that, he can kind of dive down and keep an eye. He does have this vulture microing back and forth on patrol to guard the bottom right-hand side of the map. Nesh, in the meantime, fourth base is sailing. 
Still down 10 ACVs, but he built a large dropship fleet behind this. And looks like he wants to go for a corner drop. There are two turrets here to the back corner, so Sva might have anticipated this or sniffed it out. There is a pocket, though, to land. He has a counter dropship. Looks like all three dropships are going to make it through. This siege tank is going to be hard to evict. And Sva is going to end up losing some SCVs. Also, both armories potentially exposed here. SCVs turning around, deciding to fight it out. That's evening the SCV count overall. Vultures punching through. So it looks like the siege tanks are going to get cleaned up, but with all of this attack... Anesh also going for a little bit of a counterattack, looks like, from that bottom right-hand corner. Let's see if the counter drop will be able to clean this up. So yeah, bombing right there. This is going to be the hard siege tank to deal with, though. Really, really out here in the, the upper left. But Sva, yeah, just plummeted in SCVs. It looks like Nesh was able to get all of his dropships out, and a great drop for Nesh. Taking at least the economic lead in the mid-game. I think that is the only difference in supply. However, Sva does have this upper right-hand base. Dropped... Ooh, look at this! Starports pocketed in the right-hand corner. So we'll see if he's going to do... We'll see if he gets caught with his pants down in a potential tech switch here. Control Trier uh, dropping there, at least. Nesh with a lot of attack troops on the ground. All of a sudden, with a huge supply lead. A nice macro cycle from him. Still has those dropships, keep in mind. Sva loading up some troops to the bottom right. Nesh, yeah, just going to try to grab this in the bottom right. And building a... <laughs> this is clever. Building a factory here. Maybe to build some troops to potentially deny there. Sva... Sees that he's spotted and going to go ahead and exit. But let's see if he can wind back and go ahead and wipe out this fresh command center. <laughs> so factory versus command center there. Sva able to drop but looks like immediately getting engaged and having this wipe out. So this is my problem with Sva yeah, doing more of the defensive posture to the north. Because over the long haul, if Nesh takes this bottom right hand base, that's going to be more or less uh, three and a potential fourth that he can move into. Unless Sva really reinforces and closes the gap here and maintains control over that right-hand portion. And these are... I don't know, they just... Uh, this is easier to defend for Sva. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I also want to shock it up. I always feel when I make comments like that, I also want to say that Sva better player than I am <laughs> by a large margin. This is like, these are my opinions, man. That's all I'm saying, my opinions. <laughs> uh, but, Battlecruiser is coming online for Sva. Looks like he did manage to at least get some time to make that Battlecruiser switch. Yamato upgrading. Goliath with plus one weapons. I don't know that Nesh has spotted it. Because I don't see him going for any sort of Wraith or anything else to counter. Is mostly stuck with Goliath. Some Comsat flurries. Let's see if after that last Comsat flurry we see any sort of anti-air. Looks like not. Just a, a handful of Goliaths here and there. And also still four dropships, which eats up a bit of supply. So Nesh grabbing that bottom right-hand corner. Sva getting ahead in the late-game tech switch. And the Battlecruisers will make a huge difference here. Dropships racing to the upper left. Not much of a defense force right here. So Sva potentially going to lose this expansion. Moving up some... Vultures and Sea Shanks. There's a lot of territory to cover on this map, I'm realizing. Which makes it really tough TVT. Dropships. So this drop... Yeah. Doing all sorts of damage. Again, giving Nesh the supply count lead. But now, as the battlecruisers are starting to make movement across the map, we'll see if Nesh is able to hold. My hope was, though, oh, maybe Nesh is just going to rely on the turrets to get it done. Just plastering all... Now I'm sure he saw it, because he's plastering turrets everywhere. Because this is the movement I wanted to see Sva make, was just to start to engage this bottom right-hand base, because otherwise, if we get a full count here, we've got, what, two, three, four... and a half? 
So four bases rolling and a fifth coming online versus... So this is basically mined out. One, two, three. And this one's not fully saturated. So four and a half, potentially five in the late game. So point being Spa needs to get some action done to even up the base count, get some economic damage. And right now getting rolled into at a weak point now. Is it really gonna, so he might, he's gonna be able to lift off the command center. So loses maybe a few SCVs and some territorial control, but not losing a lot else. And I still haven't seen the battle cruisers make their way out to the field. But Nesh just pile driving forward with Sea Shanks and Goliaths, like right up the gut. And now the battle cruiser's coming in from the rear. Love it. So these Sea Shanks are gonna get taken out. Keep in mind, this this lasts for a minute. You get that surprise attack still behind the economic game. So eight battlecruiser lead right this second, but that needs to translate into taking out some bases and establishing some bases for himself. So maybe grabbing this base here, which feels like an exposed spot at that location. Nesh, in the meantime, starting to send troops absolutely everywhere. One to maybe clean up some su sub supply to go ahead and make a heavy tech switch himself, but also potentially just to keep Sva occupied. Sva floating out a command center of his own. Yeah, and starting to go for counterattacks. It looks like he is going to be able to get some SCVs here with that, that Vulture. The Battlecruiser is going to find this base exposed, so Nesh certainly going to lose that. Good play. But let's see if he's able to continue through and roll and take out everything bottom right. Or if Nesh is going to be able to mount some sort of defense. Looks like some Goliaths and Siege Tanks rolling that direction to try to defend. It looks like he is just going to go for the Goliath defense. He has Charon Booster upgrade. Does have level 2 weapons. Level 2 armor. Otherwise. But this is... That's 10 battle cruisers, And you need a lot of Goliaths to counter that. So we'll see if the focus fire is there. Also, if there's group repair with SCV, Spock can just... Whoop. Loses one there. Can just retreat. They're getting caught open field, though. More vultures starting to stream out. The Goliath's getting a little bit separated. And this is the problem without oof, without siege tank support. So the oof, Goliath's just hunting down those battle cruisers. Turret's coming online. I'm not sure if Yamato's online or not. There is enough energy amongst some of these battle cruisers to drop a Yamato. Yes, the answer is yes. Wonderful. So Zva starting to push in. Also going with a Vulture Assault while all those troops are distracted to go ahead and clear out the SCVs and everything else here in the bottom right. Let's see if he moves some of them in to go ahead and clear out Nesh there as well. Migrating troops around and there, yeah, it's just going to be all Goliath response. Goliath, Goliath, Goliaths. I think Nesh, all of, like practically all of Nesh's supply right now in Goliath. And that's going to potentially work for him because Sva doesn't have the Siege Shanks. And again, because of the lack of bases falling behind. So even though, yes, he's got the Battle Cruisers and has had critical victories here by shutting down this base. And it looks like he's going to get some damage done here at this base. Unfortunately, because Nesh had that economic lead for such a long period of time, I don't know if Sva can just keep up with the raw output that Nesh is going to be able to field here. Right now, 11 supply lead. Goliath starting to push forward. And the other problem is, is for Sva to respond to this, he needs to move the battle cruisers up to do so. But he doesn't want to expose them to the Goliath lines. Dropping some mines in between. It's becoming a bit of a base race situation now. Although it's like a huge base race across like all sorts of territory. Sva losing a lot of troops here. A lot of base territory bottom left. SCV's trying to... Sorry, never mind. That's an SCV attacking. I was going to say that's an SCV repairing, but that's an SCV attacking there. So Nesh's base is in the bottom right getting wiped out. He's not mining here at the inside four. He's still mining here barely. Sva still mining here at the two o'clock location and the three o'clock location. So if Sva can hold on and weather kind of the bank difference right now, he should take this match. He just needs to go ahead and get that SCV saturation up and field some troops right now down in supply. Also needs to get some Siege Shanks in here because this is very few Siege Shanks and nothing but Goliaths otherwise. Trying to respond, it looks like with Vultures and Mines, that's not going to be effective though here at the late stages 
of the match. Nesh also has level 3 weapons, level 3 armor, so that mech is going to hit a little bit harder. Nesh starting to swarm forward. Nesh all of a sudden with a 40 supply lead and is not waiting on it, just careening forward with those... Just A-moving with the Goliaths. Clearing everything midfield. Looks like he was able to clear out the Vulture Threat in the bottom right, mostly. Which, he needs to get some SCVs down here ASAP to go ahead and resaturate. But Nesh with an open field army. Svog and a GG right there. Being down 40 supply. Ah! Oh, that's... That's a bummer. I liked the creativity early from Sva. I thought that dro the drop was incredible. There were moments where Sva was definitely ahead in the match. But Nesh just grabbing some sneaky bases that didn't go unpun that just were unpunished. But a really good fielding there from Sva overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.